Precision 3D Hydro, which we call P3D Hydro for short, uses a tin and really benefits if the tin file is a colorized tin. So RoadNet makes colorized tins. We're going to go into the civil module of Carlson Office 2020, go to RoadNet, and take a very quick look at our template because these template IDs, if we edit our way in, are the key to the mapping of the ID to a color. And here we're looking at the CB ID. And let's note that there's a drop of one inch applied to this template, which pulls the water into the face of the curb very nicely, allowing the program to find low points effectively. No changes. And we'll hit OK here. We'll also look very quickly at the output options within settings. We're outputting Civil Demo H with trees. And under the setup just above it, we have within set colors layers, these various colors associated with those template IDs. CB is mapped to 252. And the color styles by grade ID. So let's process this and make our road net. You can see the colors coming out here on the road portion. And before we find our way into P3D, let's go to the hydrology module. Whoops, go to the hydrology module, top item within watershed. And the V tree line we've set to woods, color 62. We're going to hatch and, and prove that. And then you can color the tin with those colors, color 62 for the wooded area, and we'll output civil, civil Demo H with trees and um, hit OK. And now we can go to P3D. We'll launch it. And we will load our surface. And there we see it. There's a really nice command to show the low points, and they come up very quickly as these little yellow sticks at the low points. There's one in the cul-de-sac there. And we can use these for placement of inlets. Now, I've got set up a sag 10-foot inlet here. And look how we have a gutter snap. Very nice. You can, you can place these from a distance. We're going to do um, our manhole on the lower side inlet here on grade and then switch back to the sag put one in here here and then finish up with a head wall at the low point right here and then finish the command and quickly we'll go to the pipe network and with that selected you can export a sewer file. Uh, we'll call it um, uh, video 1A. Save it. And then over here in Carlson Hydrology, we'll set that as our active sewer file. With that set active, go to Network and draw it in Plan View. There it is. So we've completed the drawing, and there you can see our, our inlets placed very nicely, perfectly in the curb face leading out to the head wall.